What's up, y'all? This is Jason, and welcome back to Free Friday. Free Fridays happen no matter what. I'm at the Boise Airport. It's Thursday. I was planning on making the video tonight from my hotel room. Turns out, out here on the road, there sometimes there are changes that are unforeseeable. Um, I haven't been to bed yet. I left New Orleans at uh, 3 a.m. last night, got in an Uber, got on my flight at 5, stopped over in Denver. I'm here now, not even sure what time it is. Um, and where I'm going, I just found out there will be no internet. There will be no hotels. And uh, <laughs> I didn't know, so I thought I better make Free Friday right now, otherwise you weren't gonna get it. So one of my Patreon patrons had asked about playing on high harps. And I really think this is a great subject because there's a lot of, especially lately, like especially since low harmonicas came out. Now, if you don't know, and you're just getting into this harmonica thing, first of all, welcome. Second of all, they got these harps that are low harps. I call them tenor tuned, right? That's that's what the, an, an, another music, another instrument would be. They would call it tenor tuned. So you got a high F and a low F. You got all the way down to double low F and double low C. I think even exists. Some of the great players to listen to for that would be like guys like Felisco and definitely Dennis Grinley. But anyway, since those harps got popular because they're cool, the the regular high F harps in E flats and E's have gone out of style. Nobody wants to play them. And let me tell you what, they're wonderful. If you check out my video, I'll link it below. Look at this video I did with Walter Trout. That's an F harp, okay? And then there's another one there called the Hurt Myself video. It's really old. That one too, right? I was much skinnier then. So you guys, lay off on the weight thing here too, man. You know, it's hard enough making these videos and getting critiqued musically you guys jump it on me about it. <laughs> I mean, leave me alone, right? You know, leave me alone. Like, you either, look, you either want a harmonica lesson or you don't. Don't be writing stuff in there about me, right? And if you do, right, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice back, right? And that's, and you're really not gonna like that because I'm just gonna be nice back. Anyway, look, what is good about the, well, let's start with why is it bad, right? Why are people, why are people gravitating away? from D harps and E flats and you know if some if it's, if the band is it is in A a lot of times a harmonica player will play a G in third position or a low D right or some other or some other uh, or an A in first anything to not play a D harp but it really gets pronounced on like E flat E and F just not a lot of people are playing those and they're really really cool and i want to show you some cool stuff you can do with them so first of all, one of the reasons that you would want to select this harp is in a low vol in, in I mean in a high volume situation, this is gonna cut. Now, see what I'm doing? I'm using a lot of staccato. I'm taking advantage of that little reed and, and instead of big long notes which don't have a lot of depth because the harp is so high. I... It's cool, right? It's cool. So guys, I don't know what else I want to say about this, right? But you can go all the way up to the top. People think, and you can, if you just go up there quick and get out. So that's what I wanted to say. The fast stuff is even easier because the reeds are so small. It doesn't take any breath to play them. So you can have a lot of fun. Overblows are easier. 
Well, they're easier on four, five, and six. And one. I don't even use one overblow, but on an F harp, I can. And it's not even set up for it. The four, five, and six overblows are really easy. So if you want to like. <laughs> super easy to bend the notes. Now, one of the problems with it being really easy to bend the nose is it's hard to get good intonation on that low section, like Right? It's a little tough. That's one of the reasons guys shy, shy away from it. Guys and girls. All right, so you probably might want to play that in third, but but if you want to just get in there and do some cool little blues runs or some R&B. All that kind of stuff. It's really fun just to have fun with it. Just exploit its little... Look, everybody talks about big tone. We think of big tone, we think of bass and bottom and stuff, right? I gotta go. I gotta go. My ride's leaving. Anyway, look, there's something to be said about little thin tone, like a hummingbird, right? Do you all just all only like eagles and crows and California condors? Sometimes you gotta dig on a hummingbird. That's all I'm... That's all I got. I'm out. Happy Free Friday. <laughs>